last few years for getting food from farms to our dinner tables. But according to a new report, our state's agriculture and cattle industries are making a comeback after facing hardships the last few years. News 13's Marilyn Upchurch is here with more. The industry is vital, especially to rural communities that rely on farming to keep their economy going. But even after this promising report, there are still a lot of obstacles and work to do. Even though we have a lot of challenges, we, uh, we seem to persevere. It takes patience, science, and an ability to adapt to the times to be a farmer or a rancher. The president of the state's Cattle Growers Association says the past few years showed how resilient the industry can be. Well, COVID obviously uh, gave us uh, all the industries, and, and we're no different than many. We, we had supply chain issues. We had a, a, too many live animals that couldn't be processed at one time. Um, our input costs went through the roof. National agriculture groups released their annual Feeding the Economy report today, showing the industry now contributes more than $8 trillion to the U.S. economy per year. That's a 22% increase since 2019, even with challenges due to the pandemic. The New Mexico Department of Agriculture says our state is almost back to pre-pandemic levels. There was a lot of improvement in you know, what we saw in New Mexico. And I think that the big thing is when we look at jobs, we look at economic impact, we look at our exports, um, all of that, wages. Um, it, it's a good sign. In New Mexico, the ag sector now contributes more than $40 billion to the economy annually. The report shows the industry provided almost 260,000 jobs with more than $11 billion in wages in the last year. Just because our, our outlook and our, our uh, impact is, is, looks great right now, we have a big challenge ahead. Uh, we, in the next 30 years, we have to figure out how to double production just to meet the growing population of the world. The average age of the farmer and rancher in our state is almost 60 years old. Although this is concerning to the industry, the Department of Agriculture says technology now being used to grow food may attract younger farmers and ranchers. But there are so many things around agriculture um, to in entice the younger generations to be involved in that. Each, new, each year, New Mexico Department of Agriculture hosts AgriFuture, a conference aimed at inspiring the next generation of farmers. New Mexico production ranks number one in chili, two in pecan, four in cheese, and five in onions. Back to you. All right, thank you, Marilyn. The report shows the industry in our state exported $275 million in goods. For the complete report, you can go to krqe.com.